fully assess a postpartum mother thereby preventing complications after delivery. Assess the client's level of consciousness and ability to follow instructions. Assess the number of postpartum days. Assess the vital signs of the mother. Fully assess, educate, and validate knowledge of a postpartum mother care. Initiate nursing intervention for abnormal findings and document findings. Gather the necessary materials. Identify the correct patient. Introduce yourself and state the purpose of the intervention. Provide for the client's privacy. Set the bed to a comfortable height. Perform hand hygiene. Check mother's vital signs and record. Wear clean gloves. Position the client in a supine or seating position. You start up here and just go around in a circular motion, just feeling for any lumps or bumps, anything unusual. And you're talking to her as you're... With your hand cupped. And with your other hand, you're coming down from the xiphoid process with this side of your hand and you're coming down, palpating in pretty deeply until you feel something that feels firm, kind of like a ledge. The uterus should feel like a softball at that point. If you can't feel it or it's boggy, if it is boggy, it needs to be massaged so that it will start contracting the uterus. So just like everybody else in a head to toe, you're gonna do bell sounds, you're gonna listen. to women that are laboring. So we want to make sure that she's able to use the restroom and she's um, getting rid of the same amount of fluid that we have put in. So the first couple of voids are actually measured in a hat that's in the restroom and it's put underneath the toilet seat. Um, we usually measure the first two voids that need to be at least 150 cc's per void. So you want to make sure also that you talk to her at this time about hygiene. Exposing mom. So now we're going to be checking mom's pad. There are three different types of lochia. So this here, this is lochia rubra. This is what we would expect on a newly delivered patient. This is for the first three days after delivery. So days one through three, we have lochia rubra. And it's kind of this like bright red blood. After that, we have something called Lochia serosa, which is kind of like a darker brown color, which is like an old blood appearance. And then that transitions to Lochia alba, which is like a yellowish or a white. Remove medical hands and do hand hygiene. Wear sterile glove. We use something called the Rita scale. So that stands for Redness, so noting any redness at the site. Echomosis, which is bruising. Edema, which is swelling. Discharge or drainage, which is our D. And then A is for approximation. So there may...